Hi everyone. Last chapter is about unchangeable motion of human beings, even though you get older. Today, I'm going to tell you about the difference between centrifugal force and physical force. Then, what is centrifugal force in tennis? Rest is some feather motion. Focus on the feather's racket. As you can see, this racket makes a perfect circle. On the other hand, Agassiz's racket can make a circle. Instead, it makes an oval shape. Using his racket in perfect circle means Pedras only depends on centrifugal force in his point stroke. However, Agassiz's racket shows an oval shape, not circle, means Agassiz uses centrifugal force and also physical force. Let's see another example. This is Lodic. Lodic also can't make a circle. He makes an oval shape. This means Lodic uses centrifugal force and also physical force. Let's see Djokovic and Rodic. As you can see, Djokovic make a perfect circle, while Rodic can't make it. Next time, we'll talk about how valuable the circuit shape is. Thank you.